Welcome to Haven Dock, and my thanks to Different Tales and uh, developer YYZ for the game we are about to play today. This is described as being a cozy game, which is something I need after all the crazy stuff I've been playing. On a small sandbank. You appear to be stranded in the middle of the ocean. You find some wood to build a makeshift deck using rocks as tools. Looks like you have to build more decks and expand. You have no recollection of how you got here, but you must find a way to survive. And pray others will find you. This is a game all about building a settlement, and if the marketing material is to be believed, it's a game described as Raft in Reverse, except you don't fight sharks. <laughs> Which, I don't know, the sound of that alone is pretty hilarious. But I got to say, I've been playing a little so far, and there's something very uh, interesting about the game in terms of... It doesn't... I don't know, it's... Uh, it does definitely have a sort of cozy factor to it in here. I'm just going to expand this just a little more because I kind of want to have a little more space for everything we're going to be doing because we are basically starting right off here with the tutorial in which we're supposed to be building a pump and I am very, very obviously ignoring that. Here, we'll go ahead and put the pump right there. I have no rhyme or reason to that other than that just seems like a good place to put it. I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. We'll go ahead and operate the pump here, and this is going to give us some water. And you can see that it looks like at some point we're going to be able to have people doing some of the work for us or, you know, working together. Maybe if you prefer to look at it in that way instead. Go ahead and put the distiller right there, and we'll just put some water in. And that's going to take a minute to do that. And oh, we should probably put the other water in there too. So while that's cooking, we'll just go ahead and collect a few more things over here. We kind of got all this stuff that's just floating by, and I don't know, you, you look around and it's not immediately obvious where all this stuff is coming from other than it's clearly coming from somewhere. It's all kind of floating in the same general direction. When you look around, you can see there's a person over there by what looks like a miniature lighthouse. And then there's, uh, let's see, we got some chickens or something over here, and then there's a rather large looking penguin over there. We've got a house kind of back there and a big, well, sort of another lighthouse over here right behind us. Basically, there's a whole bunch of things around and we're not really sure what's going on just yet. This is, uh, as I understand, a fairly popular game. Like it has jumped up in popularity and I'll be completely honest, I hadn't heard about it until I received an email from a marketing team. It was like, you might want to check this out. And I was like, you know, I'll be honest, I look at a lot of those emails and I kind of go, meh, whatever, not really my style. But this one, there's something about it that's that's very enjoyable so far. I mean, I haven't played a ton of it. I generally like to play the game before I jump in, you know, just in case uh, I hate it or something. I don't want to, I don't want to waste anyone's time on it. So, you know, that sort of thing. But no, I, I've genuinely enjoyed what I've played so far. And we'll go ahead and just make a little bit more water because we're going to need some anyway. It's only going to take a second and we can kind of collect some stuff as we're standing around, I think. There you go. Perfect. So we'll just take that and then we'll go ahead and put that in there because we're going to need to do that. And now we'll go on over to our food options and we're going to build a farm here. Let's uh, put this guy, put it right back here. No real rhyme or reason to that other than, sure, we'll just put it back there. Uh, we do have some seeds. This is going to make sense in a little while, not at the moment, but uh, we'll do that for now. And then let's see, let's get some birdhouses going. We're going to put these guys, uh, let's put the birdhouses up right next to, I guess right next to the farm. We'll build one there and we'll build one there. Uh, we need to collect some vegetables here. We can, we can make this work. I know how to make this work here. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and make an expansion area. We'll just kind of go right here. And then we should be able to build a bridge right here that's going to connect right all the way over here where there's a little farm already waiting for us to 
just basically steal everything. So yoink, 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 and yoink. Just like that, we have scooped out a bunch of stuff that uh, it wanted us to take. So there you go, perfect, right? And we'll come back over here since we need to research charcoal now at the workshop. So we'll come back to our workshop and we'll go research the charcoal. It's gonna cost, strangely enough, it costs food to research that. I'm not entirely sure how that works out, but that is what it is. Here, we'll go ahead and get a little more water out while we're waiting. Oh, and then we can get some more seeds from the birdhouses. That's what those are for. They're there to give us seeds. So we'll go ahead and grab those. Here, let's take our two water. We're gonna move this over here. I can see this game once you get going that it's probably pretty interesting because you know, early on you kind of have the tedium of doing everything yourself, but eventually you're going to be able to have other people do it for you. So let's go and build a charcoal kiln, which is otherwise known as a gigantic fire. So we'll just go and pop that guy uh, right there. That looks fine. And then we'll input some wood. That's as much as we can throw in, so that'll be fine for now. And then we'll just go ahead and give that a moment to burn. So we have enough of the charcoal, so now we can go back to our workshop here and we're going to research the cookhouse. I will say, even though there is a little bit of standing around to do stuff, it tends to go pretty quickly. Like, uh, I, don't, I don't mind so much. Like, it's, it's fine. We can just kind of jump right in and do a couple of small things while you're waiting. Like, it ends up working out okay. Let's go make a cookhouse. We'll rotate that around like so. And we're going to make a teriyaki here. We'll go ahead and cook that up. There you go. Pulls out some ingredients. Put everything on a plate. Cook it all up with a little bit of fire. And just like that, we have some food. So the next thing to do is going to be to research pier. It's going to be that one right there. I mean, two seconds to research. I'm not going to argue with you on that one. That's pretty good right there. And we've got a couple of other things we can research here before we get moving on stuff. We're gonna need that next. I don't know if we have enough time to... Maybe we can do one of those right quick while we're waiting for everything else because we need to build a pier now. Uh, we can just build this guy. Well, I think what we can do, it's kind of interesting. This is the way I did it the first time. If you kind of build a deck out here, let's just build um, a little bit. You get close enough where it'll give you the option to just straight up build a pier. I just find that interesting. Hey, buddy, how you doing? You look like you've, um, I don't know, been visiting Santa Claus or something. It's Yukon Cornelius over here. Look at that. I didn't expect to see another survivor, and here I thought I'd be stuck talking to my volleyball for the rest of my life. I see you've been putting the wreckage of DC-370 to good use. Who are you? Call me Alf. I've been sailing for days, but always end back at, this, at the crash site. Looks like there isn't any space on board. I'll wait here until you have built a house. If you're wondering how to build a house, perhaps the workshop has answers. I don't remember inviting you over here. But whatever. Apparently, I invited him aboard. Okay. Now, we just picked up a golden fish there, a rare fish that sparkles in a golden color. It is also extremely delicious and fulfilling, can be traded for rare goods or eaten to fill your belly. So we need to grow some birders in a farm. We need to get two raw meat. And uh, that would be why we are growing burgers over here. Because as soon as that one's done, we'll get a second one. But in the meantime, let's research something else. So we're almost finished researching nets because I just thought, what the heck, let's do it. And there's the two meat that we need. And we can now come back over to the workshop, which is now free. And we can go ahead and research housing. Okay, we have Researched housing, so let's build a house for our first settler. So what does this take up? Oh, it's just like an itty bitty little single spot, huh? I don't know where I want to put this then. I don't really like anywhere over here. This this just feels kind of wonky to me. So let's do this instead. Let's expand this a little bit and we'll just kind of... Okay, so that's going to be another bridge situation there. Maybe what we'll do is we'll do something like this. You can see that there's a grid. So there is kind of a limitation of where you can build everything. That's that's good to know. We'll do uh, one spot right there. That looks just fine. And let's go invite Alf on board. Alfie, Alfie, come on, buddy. Climb aboard. Have you built a house yet? Yes. 
Awesome, I got a house. I mean, I guess you do. That was that was pretty easy. Now I need to research rocks. That's kind of funny. We should probably build a water tank too. Now that I'm just kind of looking at this stuff, like some of the things that we have researched, maybe it'd be a good idea to have a water tank. We'll put that guy right there. And then can we, yeah, look at that. We can input some stuff in there. Not a, a ton. We assign Alf to do some uh, pumping. There you go, go pump some stuff. I mean, I don't know, whatever. And then we need to research rocks here. What is that even going to consist of? Uh, sleeping rocks, huh? Unlocks rocks, which can be a place to allow sleepers, <laughs> settlers to sleep and recover rest. Okay, so we'll go ahead and research that. We'll let that get rolling. And then I think we might have some, another burger ready to go, another raw meat. So we'll grab that. And then I did put a few seeds over here so that we could grow some additional vegetables. So I figure we're gonna need that. Sleeping rocks, build a rock for settlers to sleep on. Uh, okay. So you're literally going to sleep on a rock. That seems like a weird thing to me. Okay. I don't know if we can get this guy in. You're just too far away. Okay. That's fine. Um, sure. I mean, I guess technically we could rest there as well, right? Rock has no options. Excellent. Okay. Are you good? Um, I mean, I don't know how much water we need. I guess we'll just kind of take all of that and input everything over there. My bad. Do that one and then we'll just put that over here. And is there anything else we can research just yet? We could research scuba diving, apparently, so we'll go ahead and do that next. I think at some point the game might have been like I was supposed to do a thing and I kind of missed whatever I was supposed to be doing next. I don't know, whatever. I missed part of the tutorial, apparently. Although I guess that's part of the main campaign there. I don't know, whatever. It's fine. Yeah. Scuba diving. Build a scuba station and select sand to harvest. Okay. Mm, what are you going to be under? Are you going to be under base or are you going to be under crafting? I would have never guessed scuba station is under crafting, so I would have failed on that one. Here, let's go ahead and put this guy right there. That seems just fine to me. So scuba station, we need some sand and we need... Oh, interesting. Okay, so we can dive for it, or we can assign someone to it. So I think we've got enough sand. I'm just going to go ahead and say good enough. I wanted to make sure we get a bunch of extra, but I don't know, whatever. I didn't realize we picked up a bunch from a box somewhere or something. Uh, that that seems like that might be a problem. Okay. Whew. That was not what I expected to happen there. Um, interesting. That is what it is, whatever. We're not gonna worry about that. You know, let's take the seeds out just so we can, you know, get those started on producing some more seeds. And we should probably plant all of those guys because we're kind of done with everything growing there. Uh, next thing is going to be to build a smelter. So we'll go ahead and do that. This is going to allow us to make all sorts of things, apparently. Glass, steel, etc., etc. You know what? I think we need to do a little more expanding first. I wonder if you can move stuff too. That's kind of something I guess I need to look into, huh? Now, let's keep expanding a little this way. I suppose we should maybe get to this lighthouse tower thing as well. The game's going to be like, oh, you're supposed to be doing some other things first. Well, tough. Tough. The lighthouse looks broken. Uh, we don't have enough steel to repair it. Okay. Well, eventually we will, I'm sure. So for now, let's go ahead and put the... Let's see, what were we doing? We're crafting a smelter. Let's put that in the corner over here. And then let's see, that uses one charcoal and takes 30 seconds to smelt. I don't know what we need. I guess we need uh, 10 glass is what it says we need. So, okay. We can do that. That is fine. We'll just go ahead and do that. I think we probably need to fire up the kiln and create some more charcoal because I think we're actually... We're either out or we're almost out. I'm not 100% sure. And this guy, I guess we need to cook. Oh, we don't have any fish. 
Really? Oh, someone else has arrived. Look at that. I mean, we don't really have the uh, housing for this person, but minor details and stuff. Yeah, that's kind of a shame we don't have any fish. I guess we really do need to build some nets here. So what do we have for food? We can build a net over here, a, a trap. And then if we put this guy... Oh, goodness. I don't like where some of these things are being placed. I just, I don't like it. I mean, technically, we've got a lot of area that we can expand to, so it's not that big a deal. But here, let's go ahead and put a trap right there. And we'll just go ahead and try and grab some raw fish. I guess that's how that's going to work. Oh. <laughs> Attempt to trap and disable live birds. Uh, that wasn't really what I was trying to do, but okay, that's fine. Um, I was actually thinking more along the lines of nets, but uh, I guess that's not what we had as an option there, so my bad. I thought we did make nets, did we not? Basic net, there you go. Ah, okay, so this is not going to do what I thought it was going to do. But here, we'll put one um, right here, and then we'll go ahead and add couple right there. I mean, I know it says it's only a 30% chance. Whatever. That's fine. I mean, we'll see if it if it grabs. If one of them will grab this box. I guess not. Hey, look at that. And it just waits for you. Okay, that's very interesting. Wasn't quite sure how that was going to work. Here, the water tank should probably have some water in it still. Here, we'll go ahead and do that. I guess we should probably drink a little bit of water. Never mind, eat some food too. Let's go ahead and build another home. So we can invite this new person aboard. Because I think we could probably use a little more help over here. Hey buddy, how's it going? What a hot day. Do you have any water? I'll come on board if you have eight. Yep, we've got eight. Um, we have eight. Oh, I bet it's because it's in here. Can I take... Oh, that's why. Okay, so I can't take it out of there. That's interesting. I did not realize that was the case. Here, we'll take five of those and we'll just put a bunch in there and we'll just wait until we have eight on hand and then apparently we can invite that guy over. Looks like we can upgrade things, we can rotate. I don't see an option to move. If only there was a way to move structures, that would be so darn handy, but clearly there is no way to move them. That's kind of a shame. We're going to go ahead and leave it right there. We will pick up on another one as we continue to... Uh, I think we're trying to smelt and get the stuff we need here. We've got one glass. That's all we got. We need more charcoal, which means I need to go collect this stuff. And maybe on the next one, we'll have the glass that we need. So we will continue putting stuff together, finding more things. And there you go. Catch you on the next one. Tell them thanks for watching. See you later.